This is Steve, N4LQ. I just downloaded the N1MN software, the new version, and it contains the uh, Spectrum Manager or Monitor for uh, the IC7300 and other ICOM and Flex rigs. This software enables you to see what is on the Spectrum scope of the IC7300 with no extra hardware or software other than just N1MN. The data comes out of the USB port on the 7300, feeds into your computer, and this is the result that you see on the screen. It is similar to the RSBA1 ICOM software, but much more sophisticated. Uh, it's local, it's not remote, but I think maybe it can be done that way. So this uh, software enables us to point and click on signals on the waterfall using our mouse, which is handy. I'll give you an example. Click right here. And again right here. So it makes tuning easy. The controls still work on the radio. All of the screen sizing and the, the width and the edges and all that is still a function of the radio itself and not the computer. So if I want to change the displayed frequency here from this part of the band to show a wider portion, I could edit that on the radio and don't do it on the, the computer. I'm using Telnet to feed in reverse beacon network data. There's the signals that are calling CQ. Those are, those are fed into N1MN and displayed up here at the top for each band that we're on. You can, you can set how long you want them to stay there. I got it set for two minutes and then it will refresh. You can click on a signal such as this and you might be able to hear the guy calling CQ. So there's W3PNM, OH6MPV, he called CQ a minute ago. Here is AA9MU and AU, and there he is. So that's real handy. As far as setting this up goes, it's pretty simple. You Make sure your 7300 is set up for uh, 115,200 baud rate. You go into your menu and set and your connector department there and check your CIV and be sure that your baud rate is 115,200. And then you also have to be sure that your CIV address is set for 94H. Now that will match the software which for some reason likes that. Uh, you go to config in the software, configure the ports, and COM3 is my COM port, 7300 is the rig, and click on set, and there's your setup data. There's your ICOM code in hex 94, and uh, that's pretty much it. Once you get this stuff entered, go to Windows and click on your Spectrum display, and that will turn on your your Spectrum. So there's a lot of little options here. For instance, the mouse wheel will control the sensitivity of the spectrum, which determines the level of the signals that it will capture and display up here at the top. If you want to see weak signals, you move it down. You want to see stronger signals only, you move it up. 
Uh, all your waterfall sensitivity and all that is still set by the radio. The reference level is still set on the radio. And uh, so even the hold button still works. I just clicked it on the radio. Turn it back on. Your uh, center and fix modes still work. This is showing the uh, center mode, showing a width of uh, 80 kilohertz. Go back to the fix mode. Band changing can be done in the software. For instance, here is 20, here is 80, and so forth. So NM1N is a very popular contesting software. Hopefully uh, more people will follow suit with this and maybe make a dedicated, uh, even better uh, band scope for the IC7300. So for now, that's about it. Thanks for watching.